In the health center tonight, the FDA warning parents not to use homemade baby formula. That alert follows reports of infants being hospitalized in Delaware. The formula is linked to low calcium levels in the baby's blood. An unregulated formula may lack vital nutrients. So here tonight to talk about the warning is pediatrician Jeffrey Hirschfield. Dr. Hirschfield, thank you for being with us. Thank you for having me. All right, so just explain in layman's terms, why is it dangerous to use homemade formula? Well, hormo, um, homemade formulas aren't regulated by the FDA. So we really need to have formulations that are, and that is what these current commercial formulations do. Um, they are regulated, we're te we're, they're tested um, widely to ensure the babies meet their nutritional requirements. Homemade formulas or do-yourself formulations um, can be quite dangerous as a result of not having that formal testing. Um, so we really, really want to make that known to our families, our parents. Please do not use do-it-yourself formulations. Let's do it the right way, go through the commercial process with the FDA and make sure our babies stay healthy. Well, doctor, I'm not sure if you've had any, you know, patients or parents of patients who, who have used homemade formula, but, you know, if so, or if not, why do you think some parents are turning to that alternative? Well, it's, it's hard to say, but I, I would say, you know, this pandemic has probably created some of that. I think there's some element to this disparity, this poverty. Um, I think they're trying to get by on something that's more inexpensive, possibly. All right, and so obviously, you know, with the internet, there are many different forums on there, and many of them do make it, unfortunately, too easy to be swayed by some misinformation, incorrect information, lots of incorrect information out there. But some people really do feel that homemade is the best and safest alternative for them versus using commercial products. So what is your argument against that? Right, so the, the, there's two components, the, the quality and the proportions uh, of the components of those formulations that are really key. Um, we need to make sure that our nutrient requirements for babies as their sole form of nutrition, if they choose formula, is done right. And there really aren't any shortcuts. And I think that we give up something very critical, which is safety. We have seen babies over my career where they have uh, come back with low sodium levels uh, or hyponatremia that can lead to seizures um, and um, vomiting, intractable vomiting that can't be stopped. I mean, things recently that the FDA had cautioned about was the low calcium levels found in some infants, and that could lead to bone and muscle abnormalities and twitching not typically seizure activity like you would see in low sodium, but these are just perfect examples of why we can't rely on some home concocted formulation. It's quite dangerous. All right, that is fair. It's better to go with the commercially regulated version. Dr. Jeffrey Hirschfield, thank you. Thank you very much for having me.